Hey guys, make sure you stay until the end. If you make one common mistake, you can spend thousands of dollars on parts and diagnostics you don't need. Stay with us and we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any week having a Toyota Sienna this generation right here from year 2011 to year 2020. If you guys have one of those, you have a problem where the AC air conditioner doesn't blow cold, cool air, stay with us, we'll explain what can easily cause that, how to fix it. There are two things that most people will never think about that. We'll talk about that as we go and we will explain which fuses relays you need to check first because it could be a really easy fix. We will explain where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time and why it's important to test fuses and relays, all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take things completely apart, we show you guys how to do electrical, mechanical, bodywork, a little bit of everything guys. If you have one of those vehicles that we're making videos on, subscribe. We will put quite a few videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. All together guys, on our channels, we have more than 12,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars. Now, also, if you need to buy any parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping, that way guys, you do not waste your money and time, we'll share in our videos where you can buy parts, tools, uh, fuses, relays, because some fuses guys and relays are special, specific, especially for that Toyota Sienna, you have those special fuses right here, uh, you also have that special integration relay right here, and the other relays, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping guys, uh, because sometimes they could be also really hard to find. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So what do we guys have here specifically, we'll demonstrate on this 2014 Toyota Sienna if the AC air conditioner doesn't blow cold air, cold air, what you need to check. You have two different fuse boxes in that mini vent, they will be working in both. The first one is on the driver's side, open the door, look above the pedals under the dash on the left side. Uh, kind of like you need to be upside down you will see one white cover that will look like this one here guys go ahead remove it and you will find the interior fuse box that looks just like this one before we continue let's explain why it's important to always test fuses and relays so it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well common mistakes people make sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system i will never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way, you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that, we burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW, that cost is $2,000, guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below, which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. So if the AC guys, air conditioner doesn't blow cold, let's zoom in first in that fuse box, we need to check a few fuses. You wonder which ones? Let's explain now. Coming in this row, you start counting 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Fuse number 21 will need to be checked. Then you need to check that's 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. Fuse number 30 very important fuse after that pop the hood open facing the engine on the right side you have a fuse box under this cover here go ahead open it and you will find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one here you may have another fuse depending on which ac system you have that will be fuse number 13 we don't have that one 
Fuse number 18, very important fuse, that's that fuse right here. Now, guys, if that one burns, it's part of that triple fuse that you need to replace. That's the bad news. Good news, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get those special fuses from at a good price, quick shipping. Another one that you need to check is fuse number 21. Super important fuse as well. And after that, fuse number 44, right here, 7.5 amp fuse. Also guys, now, if the AC still doesn't blow cold, cool air, what do you need to check? First, check your radiator fan if it's working. You may need to check fuses and relays for a radiator fan. Now, the radiator fan, guys, if it doesn't work, the engine computer will deactivate the air conditioner. That way the car has a, a, a practically lower chance to overheat. So, check fuses, relays for radiator fan. The relay for the AC clutch, it's hidden relay. We have a special video on the, on the channel about that. Now another thing that can cause it, it could be low on Freon, refrigerant, having a leak somewhere in the system, bad AC switch, AC pressure switch, that's the switch that detects how much pressure you have in the system, bad AC compressor, bad AC clutch, okay, or if all that checks out fine, uh, your air conditioner may be working perfectly fine, but you have one device behind the dash that switches from hot to cold. This is known as blend door actuator. And if it's not working correctly, guys, that blend door actuator, okay, may be stuck in the hot position and that's why you're getting hot air. So that will need to be tested. We have the videos on the channel how to do that. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.